the new color picker and image picker in the widget interface of Adobe Muse makes it easier than ever to work with third-party widgets within the application. Let's take a look at this feature in action. I would like to use a third-party widget called the Image Wrapper from Cookie, and I've downloaded that widget. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it, so I'll open up the library, and here's that Image Wrapper. I'm going to press and drag it onto the canvas, and when I do so, the widget automatically pops up with a series of options. Now this image wrapper wants me to point to two different images that I'm going to slide between. And with the new features that we offer for widgets, it's now possible to just browse for that image rather than going through a multi-step process to upload the image, find out what the path for that image is, and type it into this widget interface. I now can simply click on the right image add file link and grab that right image. I'm going to use bike yellow it automatically uploads and is in place there. For the left image, I'm going to click on Add File and select the green version of that same image. Notice I have the ability to delete these images if I've made a mistake. I can also come in and divide uh, a stroke color for the divider here. I'll go ahead and click on that and select a nice shade of yellow that I'm using in my design. I can control the stroke of this divider as well now. I'll press and drag this a little bit larger so that I can see the full image. And let's just take a quick look at this in action. When I pull down on File to preview my page in the browser, automatically Muse knows where to find that image because I've browsed for it. I can scroll on down here to that image slider and notice that this widget allows me to slide between two different images and show them. I'm picking up on the colors I'm using in the site, and I'm easily pointing to the images I want to work with. If you'd like to give some of these third-party widgets a try, what you can do is within the Adobe Muse application, open up the library panel, and with none of the library items you might have in your panel selected, you'll see a link to find more library items online. When you click that link, it'll take you to the Adobe Muse widget directory. Now this directory has both free and paid widgets that extend the basic functionality of Muse. Additionally, if you'd like to try your hand at building your own custom widgets, you're going to want to go to GitHub and search for Adobe Muse. You'll see some extensive documentation for building out Muse widgets on your own. I encourage you to give it a try.